Hi, my name is Tim, and welcome to a new video on a new server. Uh, I'm known as Takeobor on this server. This is the new Mines and Crafts server, and I thought I'd show everybody around a little bit. This is just getting established, so there's not nearly as much stuff as there was in the old server, but I thought I'd show you what we have available. First thing I want to do is I want to head out toward the desert and show you what's out that way a little bit. I'm not going to go into the desert very far but you'll see a little bit anyway so here I go I just had to get my bearings that's why I pulled up the map just there and here I go down the hallway that leads out to the walkway to the desert and unfortunately it's night so you're not going to be able to see much at first but over in the right hand you're going to see the makings of the Geek and Sundry logo that's almost finished not quite but it's coming along and it's looking really good at this point and by the time this video is put up it's probably going to look a lot better. And then off to the left, coming up, there is kind of a flat version that's spread out over the lake that we're on. Um, best way to do that is to show you what it looks like on the map. If you can see, it's got the bottom part of the GNS logo um, already being filled in, and the rest of it is just outlined right now. But let's go back. And hey, it's becoming daylight. All right. Neat. Now here comes Barrels Above and he's being chased by a zombie. Lovely. Okay, well I'm gonna leave him to that because I don't want to get in the way of this because I suck at fighting zombies. And there he goes. Dink, dink, dink. And dead. Thanks, barrels above. You're a big help. Okay, so let me wander on down and make my way out to the desert. And there's gonna be a right hand turn here in a second. You can see the sun coming up which is a relief to me because it would have been a heck of a lot harder to show you around at night and there you see the steps leading up into our desert that somebody built I'm not quite sure who and let's see I'm mean, there's a there's a sign coming up that I want to show you as I enter into the desert that I didn't see and if I had seen it earlier I would have actually not had to dig around in the desert as much I just got shot so there's something behind me probably most likely a skeleton I'm going to go down here and I'll show you the sign real quick. Oh, nope, got shot again, so let's see what's up behind me. Oh, it's a skeleton, and it's on fire, so I'll just let the fire take care of it, and I'll take care of the stuff. There we go, got the stuff. Now, if you take a look here at the sign, which is what I wanted to do is show you in the first place, it said free sand, so all those crates next to me had free sand in them. Had I known that, I would not have to dig nearly as much as I did. I tried to not make a dent in the desert, I just kind of took from random places, made little divots here and there, so it didn't destroy the general overall look of the desert. And as you can see, there's a gigantic tower over there, and there's what looks to be somebody else's house over here, maybe a workshop, and somebody's been busy with a carpenter's chisel and made that shape just for fun. Uh, is there anything else to look at over here? I don't think so. So what I will do is I'm going to head on my way back. But rather than make you walk, wait through the whole walk back, there I am. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the um, Utter Lord, as we like to call it. The gigantic cow that is off to one side that we built a temple to. Uh, mostly it was one of the moderators that I know that did it. And here we go. And this is a nice little garden they built up around it. I love these trees, and I love the Chinese lanterns, and if you notice there are silkworms on the ground, and there's a building that you can actually leave coordinates if you want somebody to see where your stuff is and show it off, you leave the coordinates in that building back there. And if we're coming up, you can kind of see the other lord as I'm walking through this little hedge maze garden thing, and these are nice trees, I just can't get over these trees, I love them. And uh, there's a nice little wooden bench, split wood and uh, just a standard park bench looking thing. There's a better look at the other lord. Gigantic cow that it is and there's a tower over by it that goes way up into the clouds. Now let's see what's in this little um, Greek looking building over here. 
Oh, it just, okay, it's, it just looks like it's spare materials if you need some extra materials. Let's see what else is over in this way, shall we? Okay, well, let's see, there's a couple signs over here, so let me see what those signs say. And I've heard word that we're getting a bakery, um, which will be awesome because it's like, I don't mind buying my food. And there it is, that's what's going to be the bakery it looks like. Okay, so what is this building that looks like a nuclear power plant over here? Let's find out. So I'm going to go over this way. And there's a sign coming up, and if you notice, the sign says under construction. Well, let's see if I can get in it anyway. I'm, I'm curious. This one has me really, really interested. Uh, let's see. There I go up some really nice stairs. Whoever's doing this is putting a lot of work into it. Those are some awesome lights. And the fence is nether, so I can't break through it, even though I'm trying. So I'm going to work my way back toward the spawn point. And let's see what else we can find over here. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to turn back um, the way I came and see what all I can see over here. Okay, there's the bakery again on my left. And do I want to go up there? Yeah, I'll go up there. Okay, and we're going to go back by the spare materials place. And hey, there's another building here I missed coming up on my left. Let's go back and see what it is. And there we go. And it looks like, well, let's read the sign. Looks like it is a building for spare materials as well. Looks awesome. I mean, I love the detail people put into these things. That's why I love being a part of this community. And so I'm going to finish going back toward the spawn point because there's a whole bunch of other things that I want to show you. So here we're going to do, I'm going to walk around a little bit and see what else is there. Again, there's the place you can leave your landmarks if you want people to go look at your stuff. And this looks just to be a person's house. I don't know. Do I want to go up to it? I'm thinking about it. Maybe, maybe not. Eh, I don't think so. Okay. I don't want to invade. But yeah, let's go back to the spawn point. And I'll take kind of a shortcut, I think, over this way. Let's see what we got here. And I'm coming down, and ooh, I almost fell into a hole there. Okay, well, luckily I avoided it, thank goodness, because that would have been a mess. Now, we're going back into the spawn points on the server. And once I get here, uh, directly across through the doorway I'm facing is something else that's pretty darn cool, I think. Or it will be once it's up and running. And... Well, I'll show you what it is here in a minute. Hey, look, there's a guy named Human. Okay, now what we're coming up on is a nice little sandstone building that I, the, the work that was put into this is absolutely beautiful. And let's see what this is. This looks to be SeaWorld Lover's Potion Shop. Let's go inside and see what it looks like. Okay, and there's glowstone everywhere. And... They even have a little bell on the counter. Awesome. And they got signs upon signs. And there is the pricing on the potions. So yeah, if you're ever short on potions or you just don't have the ingredients to make a potion, um, he will sell them to you from here. And those are decent prices too because gold nuggets are easy to get. Fairly easy to get anyway. And as of right now, as the recording of this video, that store is actually open, so anybody who wants to go see it... Oh look, the Geek and Sundry logo looks almost complete from this angle. That's good, I told you it would be. And there's Hooman, and it turns out it's a raccoon. Woo! I didn't know we had a pet raccoon. Okay, now there's a couple of other neat things. Because if you notice, there was a rainbow building. Hey, there's a person um, off to one side that I'm kind of curious about. So I want to go over there and show that to you. Wow, there's a door open at the end. That should be an automatic door. It should be closed. But anyway, there's also another building coming up straight ahead. And what this building here that I'm going into right now is, is the Geek & Sundry Twitch set. Or a mock-up of it. You can see a camera over here to the right. And you can see all of the, of the lighting on the roof. And the gaming table. And a blackboard. And TV 
play video games on, Just Dance, for example, and the separator that separates the tech people from the people actually on screen, and the door, and even a blackboard over there. The only thing missing, it looks like, is the Geek and Sundry logo. Um, well, I'll tell you what, I still want to show you that rainbow colored building that we saw from the spawn point. Let's see, no, I don't want to go back that way. Of course not, see, there's the building, so I definitely didn't want to go that way. So let's go back through the Twitch set, and I will show you that rainbow colored building coming up here in just a bit. No, I can't go that way, so let's go up the stairs. And I love what they did to this area. There's just a lot of detail going on. And yeah, there are torches everywhere, but hey, never too many torches. Okay, and let's see what we got over here. Nope, can't get through there. Let's try this way. I, I always try to take shortcuts. Somehow I always fail. Um, but here we come up to, you can kind of see it through the trees, the rainbow colored building. See? Right there in front of me, some more nice Chinese lanterns and some flowering trees. And over there you see a couple of zebras and a cow. And if you notice, the fence is pink. What that is, that's just eucalyptus wood. And you can see the multicolored building. I'll pan up so that you can see it all. And let's get inside it, shall we? So I'm going to work my way around. And you can see the berry bushes right there, the blackberry bushes, and some raspberry bushes. And then there's some skull lanterns, thanks to the archaeology pack. And we are going in, and it looks like this is basically a gigantic workshop. Or they may actually store a whole lot of spare materials in here because there are chests everywhere I can see, but there are also barrels with specific ingredients. So this is most likely a workshop. Now, I want to take a look at the full inside of this because if you notice, as the walls go up, they change color. Let's take a look. And if you notice, each level of the wall is a different berry bush. And then you got your glass in the ceiling, and boy, did somebody put a lot of work into this. This is an awesome looking building. Now, next thing I want to do, let's work my way over here. Instead of actually walking out to my house, what I'm going to do is I am going to teleport out there because it's pretty quick just to type in home rather than having to walk all the way out there, even though it's not that far south of spawn. Here we go. And I'm at my house. No floor tiles yet, as you can see, but it's pretty well built. And you've got the basic stuff on the bottom, chests, the forge. I'm going to go out and I'm going to show you what it looks like from the outside. There's a cherry tree over to my left, and I'm heading toward a bigger tree so that you can get a decent view of my house. Uh, and it looks, I think, pretty awesome. But then again, I'm biased because it's mine. And if you look, I'm actually standing under a eucalyptus tree that I planted a few days ago, and it got huge pretty fast. Now I'm going to take you back over to the garden, and you're going to take a, and get a good look at a little bit of the garden including a fail plant which is also part of the archaeology plant or the archaeology pack and now I'm going to go upstairs if you noticed real quickly there as soon as I close my door you're going to see a hole in the floor and that hole is my standard entrance to the mine from within my house so that I don't have to worry about going outside or getting trapped after dark in a mine and trying to work my way back to my house I can just take my tunnels right up to the house. Now here we are on the top floor of my solarium. A totally glass room. I love it. My doors to my balcony are open. And let's go out on the balcony. One thing I do need to do up here is I need to put some torches out. And uh, so that way I'll have more light. And you can kind of see a couple of death points up there. Those beacons are just my death points. I need to clear them off. No big deal. They, don't, they aren't there permanently. Only I can see them. And let's take a look and see if you can see anything off of the balcony. I'm sorry if you can't. I know it's night and it's dark. But over there you see a light. And what that is, is a tunnel that I made through the mountain. That I'm really close to. And I'm going to come back here to my doors. And I'm going to go back inside real quick. And yeah, I know it's kind of bare. But I am going to be putting furniture in here. And that is and has been a quick tour of the Geek and Sundry Minds and Crafts Minecraft server. Now, if you like what you've seen, 
uh, you can find Geek and Sundry at geekandsundry.com or twitch.tv forward slash geekandsundry and uh, you can express an interest in joining us and we'd be willing to have and happy to have anybody. Uh, thanks again for watching and if you enjoyed this you can press the subscribe button below and if you're interested in following me on Twitter my uh, Twitter account is at Tagobor that's at T-A-C-O-B-O-R once again thank you for watching and have a good day